I completely failed to explain this. Alright, so basically I was talking to this girl Marley and she challenged me to change my aesthetic. So she gave me three phases of like challenges for me to complete and this is me reading those phases before I actually do them. This is gonna be... Iconic. Okay, first up, I see that plug girl. Don't think I don't see that plug. The first thing you've got to do is trust me. That's gonna be difficult because we all know I have some trust issues. If you don't believe in the person believing in you, how are you meant to believe in yourself? That might be the deepest thing anyone's ever said to me. Alright, we're starting off simple, which is great news because you all know I love simple. My name. I agree. I know you say you're joking, but now I finally have made the decision. I'm changing my name to Gingeritis. You're currently in a state in which all your clothes are black and white. I'm changing that. What if I don't want to change Molly? How am I going to communicate to people how emo I am if I'm not wearing black clothing? It's obvious that you have blue eyes, not to you, girl, because you had to ask. <laughs> so colors like khaki, tan, white, and other more earth colors go well. You know what? A white is something I'm very familiar with. I have a white striped shirt. I've got white on this sweatshirt. I mean, this is something I can really gel with. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be afraid to go bold. I read that as bold. Go bold. And I was really I thought you promised me you weren't gonna make me shave my hair, Molly. Especially with reds. I've got enough red hair. Make sure to venture into other colors such as oranges, purples, and greens. You know, purple is a royalty kind of color, and we all know I'm queen. So purple might be something I go for. Black, black is, the black is also not the best option. Try and find graphic tees and shirts with designs on them. That sounds like something I try to do. But every graphic tee I find says New York on it in really big letters and I don't really care enough about New York to wear it on my torso. Hey, I did find this one though, which is still the most accurate shirt I own. It's obvious that you have a stomach. I do have a stomach. Go cropped, you know what? That is so far out of my comfort zone that I actually kind of feel like I want to try it. Now let's go to your legs. Black skinny jeans, my kind of jeans. We all know I love looking like a 16 year old emo boy, so I'm really, really happy with that suggestion. Sneakers, trainers, and running shoes sound really nice. For accessories, just a necklace. I'm down for that. Right, that's phase one. Phase two isn't going to be as hard, don't worry, thank god. Phase two is about hair and makeup, oh great, so it will be as hard. As we all know, you have been rocking the no makeup look since, well, birth. I mean, yeah, honestly, my skin has just always been so perfect that I've never needed makeup. I definitely didn't have acne or anything. But now you're going to rock the no makeup makeup look. Because obviously I just need to enhance my natural beauty. This makeup is simple and not hard at all, that's why you need a bunch of products. Just watch a tutorial and you the makeup you have and as we all know I have some really high quality makeup so that should work fine. So here I'm thinking braids, oh no. Double Dutch Kim K inspired braids, oh no. Of course I do totally have the potential to break the internet though so I do completely understand why you'd want me to go for a kind of Kim K look. This is quite fiddly but once you get the hang of it you won't be able to stop. Well I can assure you that I will never get the hang of it and if I do I won't be able to stop because I'll lose it again. Oh but we do have a tight high ponytail or loose wavy curbs to fall back on if I can't quite get the braids down because I can kind of do a ponytail. Well, if you look at me from the wrong angle, I just kind of look like an 11 year old boy. This is the final phase, and it's your socials. Oh, anything with the word social in it is something I excel at. Go outside and take Instagram model pictures. Does this look like an Instagram model to you? But I'm telling you, it's fun. Oh, it's taking a million photos of the same pose and then deleting them all because you're too insecure to actually think any of them are good. Sounds like my idea of a good time. Posing in front of a wall or backdrop with your friends around you and some music on while someone takes photos of you is great and an absolute blast. Maybe yeah, you can do this next time I hang out with my friends, which will probably be only in a couple months. Maybe a year? Who can really tell? It's not that I'm a bad friend or anything, it's just that I like to keep it mysterious. Download Snapchat. Oh no. Follow all the filters and find which one you like. Any of them that cover up my face completely will be great. It'll also match the I'm trying to be a baddie but I'm lazy so here I am doing my own thing aesthetic that I've given you. Oh you'll be glad to hear that I have accidentally completely disregarded your aesthetic and gone for something completely different. Create a bitmoji, start a streak and have fun on the app. I'm finally going to be a basic teenage girl. This is what I've waited my whole life to become. And this is not a sponsored video but if Snap wants to hit me up Snap. Hey, I take back any Anything bad I've ever said about Snapchat. Okay, just please sponsor and me. And then voila! You're an entirely new person. Not quite. Maybe if I shaved my head though. All love here, all love back. Well done and smiley face. I think you'll probably say the opposite once you see what I've done, but love you girl. This is so elaborate. I'm just glad I didn't have to do this work myself. Shout out to you, Marley, because as we both agreed, this is hard work. But go watch the videos. What are you waiting for? Give me the views. I need the views. Come on.
on. 